G'day guys, Flint here from Backyard Blasters. Today I'm doing a review on possibly one of the best manual single action gel pistols out there. This pistol is the STD 1911 gel blaster. Comes in a box like this. Not too much to the box. A lot of, Chi lot of Chinese, STD 14 plus, STD water gun CS008. It's just a bit of what the box looks like. Some, uh, quite a bit more Chinese there on the back. Let's go ahead and open it up. So in the box you have a pair of safety glasses here. Gel ball bottle, the pistol. And underneath here, you obviously get, actually you get quite a lot of ammo. 7, 8 millimeter gel balls, you get five packs of them, 500 rounds. 2,500 rounds of gel ball ammo. This is what you've got to prepare in the water. Really cool color. I like this green. That is, that's cool. In this little bag, this is a pair of grips, which you can use on the pistol instead of the red ones that come with it. And there's also some weights. Now that's really cool because uh, as you'll see in a second, we won't see, but I'm gonna tell you this, this gun is actually quite light. And there's also a Phillips head there to uh, change those grips and add the weight. So, let's get straight into the pistol. Here it is. It's got WeChat Public Number STD Toys. I don't know why it says WeChat. I think that's an app. Uh, on the other side, STD, and there's a little number there, like a serial number or something. This has so many functions. It's, it's really cool. So you've got, we see the slide there. Working hammer, slide lock. You also have a slide lock back here. So this, there's a, a safety there and then there's also the slide lock to lock it back like that. Magazine here. High capacity. Very cool. Aluminum barrel. Very nice red barrel. And to deprime it, you can just pull it back and then pull the trigger and then it's deprimed. Here are the hand grips. Let's give these a quick, quick uh, change. It's a very, it's, it's quite light. So I think it's gonna be much better when I put these weights in. Oh yeah, there we go. This will make it feel so much nicer, adding those weights. I reckon, I reckon we'll change the grips. We may as well, we've put the weights in, so. I have not seen uh, this much effort put into one of these pistols before. Because, you know, they're all made in China from various various uh, factories. And uh, this has been made quite well. And with an aluminum barrel, it gives you better performance than a plastic one. You know, same thing is said with a with airsoft and, and nerf. See they've actually got cutouts there to put the the mold, the um the weight straight in, which is really handy. Actually I kinda like the red. I think I like the red better than the black hand grips. Um, once I screw these in we'll we'll go over all the features. Oh, gone over some of the features. Oh, that's much nicer with that weight. So we've got a very small front iron sight, rear iron sight, the hammer here, the safety, the slide lock, which locks into place there, the barrel here, which is aluminum. Then we have the trigger guard, the trigger, magazine release. I think there's a spring in there that is putting tension on the mag because it pops out just at a, a, a flat angle, usually. Huh, that's cool. So your magazine release, your grip, which is removable, weights under there as you saw me show before. Beaver tail, this isn't this isn't a working beaver tail, it's just a, no, it's, that's what it's meant to represent. There's a little, a little loop under here where you can attach a little clip. 
Now it might be a bit tricky because it's right next to your magazine. So you'd have to clip it on with a very small clip. You can deprime it like so. Um, and that's pretty much the blaster. It is 1911. Love the 1911. Probably still my favorite pistol, followed by the Breda M9 and then maybe the Glock. Um, it's really cool. Actually, no, I take that back. They're not my, the Glock and the Breda, they're not my next two favorites. There's, there's actually quite a few other pistols there that I like. Um, this side you've got the screws. The other side is, is um, there's no screw ports. Oh, very nice gun. Once you've added that weight, she's good. She's good. She feels, she feels nice. You know, weight helps in a number of ways. It can actually give you a bit more control of the pistol as well. Oh, that's cool. So guys, that's the uh, Colt 1911 STD gel ball blaster. So it's again, single action. You've got to pull it back, pull the trigger. Now, the one thing I will comment on, pulling it back is quite a bit of effort because it's only in the last bit of fraction. You can hear it here. There, that noise, that is when it cycles this little clip. So that's what that clicking noise is. And it takes quite a bit of force right at the end there to perform that because it's not only pulling back on the, you know, pulling back the actual spring, which is gonna compress the air, but it's also pushing down on this lever to, to prime the mag. So there's quite a bit of force on that last little bit of pull. And something to note is a lot of the guns, a lot of the um, toy guns that come out of China, the gel ball ones are heavily, heavily lubricated which is still better than no lube, but you often have to wipe it down quite a bit. Like even now, I'm, there's quite a bit of, I think it's because I touched the mag in all the moving parts, they, they'll put a fair bit of lube, but that can cause your hand to slip a bit, or quite a lot, but once you get rid of that, it's good. Oh, very nice pistol. Oh, check this out, I just noticed this. I think that's a metal piece in there where the hammer lock uh, hits. Gee, the fact that it comes with all these features is really cool. I love, I love how it's got the safety. Man, this stuff, yeah, see how that just shoots out? Pretty sure that's spring loaded to shoot out like that. Yeah, that's gotta be, yeah. Wow, wow, whoever, Design this, they, they did a good bloody job. Good job of this one, that's for sure. So the, these gel ball guns are getting closer and closer to airsoft. Man, it's cool. So it is plastic, the only real metal, metal parts, at least that you can see are the, the barrel there and that metal piece back in here. But it it's, feels good quality, it's nice, very nice. Alrighty guys, well I can't wait to do the range test of this and the shooting test in the, in the backyard. Stay tuned for that video. I'll see you then.